is absolutely popping my lollipops. You already know it's your girl Lola Wola. And I'm back with another word from the Lord. So <laughs> I was literally reading my Bible yesterday. And um, I just thank God that one of you guys reached out to me in regards to um, something personal. And the Lord has been, you know, speaking through this situation that this individual is going through and he's you know placing on my heart to warn the rest of you um to look out for these things you need to look out for these things you need to look out for these things and so that's what we're going to be talking about today as well as the message that the lord has placed on my heart which i may film in a separate video but today i really want to make sure that i get this out there because it's very important because a lot of people probably don't even know so let's, let's talk about it and let's just start by praying. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you so much for bringing us here today. We know that there's no such thing as coincidence. I know that everyone that has stopped by this video is here for a reason. Holy Spirit, I pray that, Lord, you will make it very clear the reason why they stumbled upon this video, upon this channel, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that, Lord, you will minister to our hearts in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that, Lord, we will never, ever, ever leave this channel the same way we came. Any message that comes out of this word, I pray that, Lord, we will never be left, you know, we will never be left the same in Jesus' mighty name. If there's any way we've sinned against you in our deeds, in our words, in our thoughts, in our action, mighty God, have your way and have mercy upon us in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And amen, amen, amen. All right, you guys. So I want to start off by saying, let's talk about this marriage thing because clearly a lot of us, that is our desire is to be one day married, to have children and to have this loving family, Right? For those of you that don't know, if you have already been married, the Bible literally says it. Um, it is not something you should do to, to divorce. So say you are already married, right? You've been married before. That marriage in the spiritual realm is your marriage. You've been married. Except the Lord changes your situation and your story which he can. He's a God that can do all things. Oh, yes. He can do all things. Oh, yes. But in Genesis, I believe that's the chapter. No, Mark. Mark chapter 10, verse 10 and 11 and 12. It says, when they were in the house again, the disciples asked Jesus about this. And he answered, saying, anyone who who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another man, she commits adultery. So everyone that has once been married and ended up marrying somebody else, you're constantly committing this adultery with this person because your first wife in the spirit realm is who you're married to. Except this person is dead. You cannot get another, you cannot be married to another person. So you're committing adultery. And what is adultery? Adultery is when you have sex outside of your marriage. So you're already married and you're having sex with somebody that is you're not married to. Even though you divorce. Divorce is a man-made thing. You're not supposed to do that. We're not supposed to do that. So I want you guys to keep in mind, if you have been married before, at that point, just be married to God. And he can change your situation. God is a God that can do all things. He can change your situation, but you have to make sure you fully marry God. And that leads me to my second point. Y'all know how in uh, my previous video, the one that talks about how uh, prepare to hear I want to marry you or something like that. When I brought up the, the triangle, right? When it's God, the wife, and the husband, right, as one. See, there can't be that God, wife, and husband if wife and husband don't know God. God has to be the center. And if, say, you did not listen to God and you ended up getting married and this person is just not God-ordained and is just somebody you could not tolerate and y'all ended up separating, divorcing, whatever the case may be, you now need to run to God and marry God because now that is the marriage you need to be connected to. That is the union you need to connect to. I just saw 444. 
I don't know what this means, but I just, I see prophetic numbers as confirmations. I don't look for the meaning of prophetic numbers due to the fact that witchcraft has just messed up everything. So I just tend not to do my research on the meaning of certain things because I don't want to dabble into anything that's outside of God's will. So I take that 444 as confirmation, like Holy Spirit wants the best for us. I don't think you guys understand how much he wants the best for us. And just because we grow impatient, we can run into the arms of the enemy himself, okay? And we can open portals and doors for the enemy to, you know, to play with our lives. See, marriage is not something we play about. And I understand you guys are excited about a union. A lot of my marriage messages are very specific. They're not even about everybody. A lot of people just comment, I receive, I receive, which as you should, receive. Because why wouldn't you want, you know? a joyful connection, a happy connection. But the issue is when you put this desire for a union before your relationship with Christ, that's an issue. That's an issue. <laughs> Lord, you're funny. God is calling every single one of us to a seven day fast. I would love for you guys to join us. It's going to start on Monday. Okay. Today is Sunday, December the 18th. So we will start the seven day fast on Monday, Monday, December the 19th, and we will fast and we will diligently seek him. If you're not going to diligently seek him, you can literally fall into the trap of the enemy. You think the enemy doesn't know what you like. The enemy will send you the counterfeit fast and quick. And all he has to do is fit your category until he puts the ring on you. Until you guys are now in this union. And next thing you know, beatings every other day. Next thing you know, he's not coming home. Next thing you know, he's a drunkard. Next thing you know, you're just finding all this nonsense, rubbish thing. And you think God will put you together with that? No. So this seven-day fast, he prompted me to actually bring it to you guys. And to warn you guys, because he told me about this warning that a lot of you guys are seeking a union. When I speak on unions on my channel, y'all, these are specific, very specific messages, not for everyone. I don't want you guys to walk into a union that was not meant for you. See, mm, 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 mm. I'm getting so like, oh my gosh, Holy Spirit. I just feel so bad for so many people. And my heart is grieving for so many people, okay? Divorce is not of God. God does not do divorce. And like I said, once you're married, you're married. That individual you married in the spirit realm, there's no such thing as divorce. Divorce is all in your head. You're married. So once you're married and you walk outside of that marriage, divorce, and then you, you or that spouse ends up being with somebody else, just as it says in Mark chapter 10, verse 10, 11, and 12, you're committing adultery. You are. You might think, oh, I'm, I'm married. I can, I can do. No. You, the first person you married is who you're married to spiritually. So you either seek God wholeheartedly about breaking every chain, but you got to also think of it like this. Once you divorce somebody, just be married to Jesus. <laughs> At that point, be married to Jesus 100%. I'm telling you now, that's the only way. That's the only way God can even intervene in your life and turn your situation around. Because he can. He can turn that situation around. I want you guys to really beware of the counterfeit. You ask God multiple times, who is my husband? Who is my spouse? Who is my husband? Who is my spouse? Who is my wife? Who is my spouse? Ask him multiple times. Let him tell you multiple times. Y'all cannot rush marriage. This is a life thing, a for lifer thing. Just because our generation has normalized divorce, has normalized remarrying, don't you think that the thing of the world, the things of this world is not of God? A lot of the things of this world, such as divorce, such as sex outside of marriage, such as uh, divorcing and remarrying, these are not of God. These are not of God. 
I pray for you that the almighty God will intervene in your life. If this video, this message was for you today, I pray that Lord, you'll, t you'll, you'll, you'll minister unto your children, Father God. I pray that Lord, you'll help them to desire you and don't idolize this marriage thing. Help us to not idolize this marriage thing, mighty God. Help us to first seek a relationship with you because that's the first relationship we will ever have. See, the relationship needs God first. If husband, wife does not have God first, then there is no this. There is no this. Holy Spirit, help us. Holy Spirit, help us. As we go on this venture and as we are obedient on this fast that you are calling us into, mighty God, I pray. I said, mighty God, I pray for your strength over our lives. Everyone that participates in this seven day fast, mighty God, I pray that Lord, you will minister to them in regards to their destiny. You will minister to them, help them to realize that marriage is just for the building of your children, for the building of your kingdom. Marriage is just a union that you have to put together, Lord. And if it's not put together by you, it will fall apart. No questions asked. It will fall apart. You cannot marry and remarry. You cannot marry and remarry except God fix that situation, which he will, which he can, as long as you seek him. Remember first, we are married to Jesus. We are first married to Jesus. So every single one of us are already married. Then it turns physical. Then it turns physical. Please take this message with a grain of salt. Please hear me by the spirit when I say this because y'all. And another thing he just put on my heart right now, spirit spouses. A lot of you guys seek to be married, but you have a spirit spouse. Maybe you had sex outside of marriage. Maybe you've remarried like three, four times. You have spirit spouses. Stop worrying about marriage at that point. Stop worrying about marriage and fix the chains that need to break or whatever union you try to walk into next will fall apart. Why do we keep doing this to ourselves? Choices, y'all. We have freedom of choice. We have that. 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 12-12. We have that. We have that. Sorry, that was another confirmation. Holy Spirit. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel so you guys don't miss another prophecy, warning, message, word. Make sure you guys thumbs up this video and share it because you don't know who needs to hear this. For those of you that have remarried, if God is not at the center, things will continue to fall apart. And I'm not wishing evil on your relationship. I'm telling you what the Bible says. I'm telling you what the Bible says. Be blessed as you listen and as you obey. In Jesus' name, God bless.